What's up, guys? Thank you guys so much for coming back on the podcast. I appreciate that so much. You guys are my energy. And just to prove it, I'm going to go go over the comments you guys left on my last uh, podcast. Guys, thank you for leaving your comments, for liking it. Um, have had over 250 views on that. I appreciate that. Most podcasts do not get that on their uh 12th podcast, let alone their third, right? So I appreciate that. Um, from Pranja, amazing podcast, giving real knowledge. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys watching it. Um, Ani said, the main man, hey, you know you know where to go for, for your knowledge, whether it's soccer, whether it's life, whatever it is. Um, Jensen said, what an absolutely great podcast. So effing underrated. I appreciate you, Jensen. Guys, Make sure you guys leave comments. Let me know what you guys want to hear next, what you guys want to talk about, who you want on the podcast, whatever it is. Um, we're working on getting some decent names on here. But for today, you're stuck with me. Um, but guys, I got to talk to you guys about one thing today, one thing in particular, uh, just going piggybacking off the last podcast. And again, guys, I'm doing this. What time is it? It's 11 o'clock here in Jacksonville, Florida on Saturday. I uh, had a whole tournament today with my young kids that I coach here. And yeah, it, you, hopefully you guys can hear my voice. Hopefully it's, it doesn't sound too bad, but you know, I get carried away sometimes, lose my voice during, during the tournament. So you might hear that on me. Guys, I got a camera now. Obviously I'm not using it right now. This is the worst quality, however, the energy's still here, guys. The energy's still here. I was talking to someone the other day, Rafaz, if you're listening, I was talking to him, and we were talking about how you got to put in the same effort, whether there's one person watching or one million people watching, you have to put in the same effort. You heard, you've been hearing it all year. Keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. That's how it is for me. That's how it is for me. Whether I feel like it or I don't feel like it, if I'm going to come on the mic, if I'm going to put in the work, if I'm going to, you know, give you guys some information, give you guys some knowledge, I'm going to put everything I have into it, right? So last week or two weeks ago, I was on another podcast. Um, when it comes out, I'll link it either in this in this podcast or the next one. I'll, I'll bring it up. I'll, I'll pump that, that podcast up because I, I said some cool things in there. I said some good things. So I'll link that somewhere. But I was on a podcast uh, last two weeks ago. And we just, we were talking about recovery, right? We were talking about recovery. And I want you guys to understand that it's not about recovery. It's not about technique. It's not about um, anything like that. It's not about, you know, physicality and all that stuff. It's about the mind. It's about the mind. And once you get your mind to a place where you're playing and you're, you know, you know, when you listen to this kind of stuff and they say vibrating on a different level, all that stuff, when you get your mind to a place where you can understand, have a better perspective, um, you're able to listen to people who you may not like, you know, just getting on another level, guys. That's at the end of the day, that's what I'm talking about. That's all that I'm talking about, whether it's on my uh, Instagram, which I'll link below, or my Facebook, which I'll link below or on the YouTube, or on the podcast. I'm just talking about elevating your understanding, elevating your perspective, so that you can make better decisions, right? Simple as that. Can you elevate your perspective and your understanding of a given situation, whether that's in the game, or that's in life, and seeing it for what it really is at any moment, that you get emotional or your feelings begin to take over, can you take a step back and gain a little perspective, right? That's what I was talking about the other day on my IG Live, which I do almost every day. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you better go do that because I do IG Lives almost every day where I'm just giving you guys nuggets of information every single day for free, for free. So what I'm talking about on, you know, on IG Live, whatever it is on my YouTube channel, whatever it is, I'm just trying to get you guys to a better understanding of a situation to gain perspective of the situation. Cause once you have better perspective of the situation, you can come up with much 
much better solutions. I talked about this recently as well. Do not be feeling based. Losers are feeling based. Oh, I feel like getting up. Oh, I don't feel like getting up today. Oh, I feel like I want to go to the gym. Oh, I don't feel like I want to go to the gym. They go with the wind, right? Roy Keane said, dead fish go with the flow, <laughs> right? So I used to be the guy who said, oh, I go with the flow. I go with the flow. Yeah, dead fish go with the flow, right? So losers are feeling based. If you're going based on your feelings, oh, I feel like eating this today. Oh, I feel like doing this today. Oh, I don't feel like doing this today. I don't feel like eating well today. You're a loser. You're a loser. Am I hurting someone's feelings? Probably, but let's hurt them now. Let's build them up and let's go again, okay? If I'm hurting your feelings right now, don't turn this off. Don't turn this off. If I'm hurting your feelings right now, do not turn this off. Fight through it. Fight through it. I'm going to make sure we're good on the other side. I'm going to make sure we win in the end, uh, at the end, okay? Because remember, guys, I keep telling you, I keep telling you, if you rock with me, if we, if I win, you win, okay? I'm not like other, I'm not like these other pages. I give you guys everything for free. Podcast, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, whatever it is, all free. I give you guys my best stuff. I bring my best energy every single day for you guys. I don't hold anything back. I don't hold anything back. I'm sitting here with my dog, my little puppy. Um, so let's talk about it, guys. If you are going based on your feelings, you are a loser. Okay, so what is a winner, right? And I talked about this on my IG Live. What is a winner? A winner is someone who is goal-based, okay? Goals based on goals. Oh, I want to... Uh, I want to play for this team, so I'm going to work hard. Okay, they work, they, they work hard and they play for that team. Good job. Well done. You, you achieved your goal. Now what? I want to win this game. Okay, you won that game. Good job. Now what? Or you lose the game. What do you feel? What do you, how do you feel? You feel like a failure, right? That's why I don't go based on either one of those anymore. Yes, I do have goals. I set goals for a very long time, uh, for a very, for very long term, right? So five, 10 years, I set goals. Yes. Do I set goals, you know, f for this month, for this year, whatever? Yes. But it's not, but my work is not based on the goals. If I don't achieve my goal, I do not, I do not get upset. You want to know why? Because there's a reason I didn't achieve my goal or there's a reason I exceeded my goal. That's why. Okay. So let's break this down. That's why I have a problem with goals now. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and it's funny because I am the type of person who will change my opinion all the time. Okay, because I'm constantly learning. I mean, look, I got books here. I got this book here. I got this book here. I'm constantly, constantly, constantly learning. And what am I what happens when you learn constantly? Your mind's your mind begins to shift. However, I'm not going based, I'm not doing facts anymore. I'm not looking at facts. Oh, this fact, oh, 21% of people do this and 55% of people do this. I don't care. What does that mean for me? What do I need to get better at? What do I need to improve? whether it's me being a husband, whether it's me being a, a coach, whether it's me being a mentor to you guys, whatever it is, how do I get better? How do I get better? How do I improve? Because sometimes there's two, there's two, there's two things you need to improve. There's two things you need to improve as a person. You know, the things that you're not good in, right? The things that you're not good in for me, you know, I have a problem when I come on to the podcast or come on to the IG live or come on to the YouTube channel or whatever, where I, I, I mumble or I like, or I take forever to say something, or I have a problem articulating a thought, whatever it is, I have to improve my speaking. However, I have a lot of energy. I, that energy comes through the microphone, comes through the IG live, whatever it is, it comes through. So I think that's why you guys rock with me. And also I say some, I say some good stuff, right? But now, can I get to the level where it's, where it's cleaner, right? Cleaner, more articulate. The way that I say it, not bigger words or anything like that, but how can I get it crisper? Can I get it with less fluff, with the less, with less, um, uh, oh, okay, whatever, less of that, right? So I need to work on that, right? That's something I need to work on. So there's two things you need to work on, right? You got to work on the things you're, you're, not as, you're not as good in, but you also got to continue to improve the things you are good at, right? And you guys have heard this from me millions of times, I'm sure. And if you haven't, 
go check out the, my my latest YouTube video featuring Matt Sheldon, which you can't hear him. I know that. I put that in the description that you can't hear him. That's my fault. That's my fault. But go check that out. Video, it means the same thing, right? So go check that out. Simply put, you got to work on your strengths. Do not rely on your strengths. Work on your strengths. And just like Ronaldo, just like Ronaldo, work on your strengths, but also work on the things that improve your strengths, right? So Cristiano could have been the best dribbler in the world, but if he wasn't physically in shape, physically prepared for the Premier League, guess what? He would have got injured a long time ago, right? He would have got injured a long time ago. So he had to improve his body. He had to improve his body. He didn't just eat. And, and this is actually, okay, so. So let me get back on track. Let me get back on track. This is where I was going when I was talking about goals, about me not setting goals, okay? Guys, I'm all over the place, man. Guys, by the 50 by the 52nd podcast of the year, I will have a a, a flat out plan of what I'm going to say and I won't just come on here and rant, okay? I promise you get that. By the 52nd podcast, I will have this crisp. Guys, I already have a camera, so guess what the next podcast is going to look like? Way better than this one right? Because I'm constantly improving every single day. I could get a million views on this video, but I'm still improving. I got to improve because, and going back to the goal thing, because I don't care about my goal getting reached or my goal not getting reached. If I don't get it reached, guess what? I learned something new. If I do reach it, I should have gone more. I should have done it more. If it worked, I got to do it again. Right. So that's why I'm not on goals. That's why I'm not on goals. If you're on goals, really, if you're on goals and you base your whole life on a goal, guess what? You'll achieve it. Good job. You'll achieve it. But guess what? You don't have the basis. You don't have the foundation and the ground layer of the things it takes to move past that and to move on to the next goal. Right. I'm I'm trying to build a foundation to where you can give me any goal and I'll achieve it. Right? What is a foundation? Hard work, perseverance, understanding, perspective. Those kind of things to me are way more important than winning a game or winning a championship or signing a pro contract. I'd rather be a good person. I'd rather be a good husband. I'd rather be a good friend. I'd rather be a good mentor. Because if I can do all four of those, if I can do that stuff, guess what? There's nothing I can't do. Right? So, Going back to my YouTube video about goals, I built the car. I'm building the car. If, I, if you build a nice car, if you build a, a, a durable, fast, strong car, guess what? You can go anywhere. You can go anywhere. Guess what happens if you can get, if you get, if you can get to the top of a mountain? Guess what? You, can, you know that you can get to the top of that mountain. Good job. Now what do you have to do? You have to go down. And once you go to the, once you go down, guess what? Now you're at the, now you're at the bottom again. Do you want to go up and down and up and down and up and down? No, I don't. I always want to be great. I always want to be great. I never want to come back down. I never want to be uh, a loser again. I I was a loser. I was a loser. And guys, I realized that on this podcast, I want to start giving you guys like more stories, more practical stories that I that I've done or that that's gone on in my life and. I'm going to bring some guys on, soccer players, uh, you know, agents, psychologists, all that stuff. I want to bring them on and I want to give you guys real stories with practical advice, just like I did last week with DJ, two weeks before, or two weeks before that with Rick Fit. I want to continue to bring you guys stories because I know you guys like my storytelling, but also I want it to be practical and for you guys to be able to relate. So, um, in terms of goals and going to the top and then coming back down, that, that, that simply, you know, when I was playing uh, in high school, that simply happened to me every single year. I would put everything I had into, into winning a championship and, and being the best player on my team and, you know, you know, just being the man, right? Just being the man, working hard every single day, 4.30 in the morning, I would wake up, walk a mile, to train, then walk back home after school, train during school, train after school. I'd be training every single day. If I'm not training, guess what? I'm in class watching film, watching video. I mean, there were times when I would go in, in the class, I would have a note, I would just have a notebook and a pen 
and I would simply just write down my goals at like over and over and over again. I would write down my goals. I would write down the workouts that I would need to do to achieve those goals. And I would just go do the workouts. It's crazy, honestly. Um, and that's where I am now in my life. I'm, I'm planning, I'm executing. Guess what? Right now, I don't think my goals are big enough. That's the problem. That's the problem. And that's why I don't really like goals is because like, like people look at goals, right? People look at goals and they're like, oh, I got to reach for this. I got to go get that. But what you don't take into account is potential. You don't take into account potential, right? So your potential could be way big. It could be 10 times bigger than your, than your goal. But guess what? You stopped at your goal and you thought that that championship was good. Good job. You, you won a championship and you thought that was good and you chilled. But what if your potential was eight championships or five, five championships or three championships in a row? But you settled for the goal. You thought, you thought that your hard work, your dedication, your drive, your determination to get to that goal. And then you achieve the goal and you thought, oh, wow. I, you know, I, I really sacrificed for this and I really got it. And you felt good. But what you don't, what you don't realize, and if you had taken a, a step backwards and just focused on the process, just focused on mastery, that goal would have seemed so small. That goal would have been really small to you. That's, that's what I'm, that's why I'm big on. That's why I'm massive on perspective, perspective. I met with a client yesterday. He's older than me. He's 27. He's older than me. And what does he want to do? He wants, he wants to be pro. He wants to be a pro. Why? Most people would look at that and say, oh, you're 27. Why are you even trying? Like you, you're done. You're done. No perspective, perspective. The body is not at its peak until 2930. We have technology. We have a better understanding of how the body works. But if he listened to other people, if he had set a goal for himself and said, oh, by the age of 22, if I'm not a pro. Guys, when you set goals, you got to understand, you have to realize that these are, these should be guidelines. These should be a goal should be a reason that you get your stuff together, right? A goal should be a reason that you get your stuff together, right? Like, like, uh, and I'll get into, I'll get into this in a second, but your goal, your goal should be based on, um, you know, let's get into it now. Your goal should be based on habits. You should have better habits going to the gym three times a week. That's a habit based goal, right? At what point does that stop? At what point do you stop going three times a week? Right? It should never stop. It should always be that. So is your goal habit-based or is it, you know, uh, accomplishment-based? Oh, I want to get a Lambo. Oh, I want to, you know, entrepreneurs I hear all the time because I'm obviously in the business world as well. Oh, I want a Lambo. Oh, I want a, a, a Bentley. I want to make this amount of money and all this stuff. Why don't you just focus on the habits? Why don't you focus on the skills? Why don't you focus on constant, constant improvement? And then you can get whatever you want. Potential. You guys don't take into account your potential. You guys have opportunities within you. You guys have opportunities within you that far surpass a trophy. Uh a win, a goal, a certain amount of goals, 20 goals this season, you could have gotten 50 if you didn't set a goal. Do you think, do you think Messi sets goals for himself when it comes to goals, when, when it comes to goals in, uh, in, in a game? I don't know. I don't know the guy. I don't know the guy. But you have to understand and you have to look at yourself and say, what is my potential? What is my potential? And what is that based on, right? So let's get into the next part. What is that based on? What is your potential based on? Based on your habits, based on your routine, based on your, your standards that you set for yourself, right? The more and more I grow as a human being, as a, as a man, and in my mind, the more I grow my mind, the more I grow my understanding of the world, my perspective of the world, the more I grow, the more I realize that my potential is limitless. Why? Like, 
why why can someone else do it but i can't i'm a human being they're a human being what's the difference habits what's the difference between cristiano what's the difference between me and messi what's the difference between me and zlatan habits at a younger age habits at a younger age ronaldo i look at ronaldo and here's the thing i love about ronaldo and here's the thing i love about messi they maximize their potential right they maximized it from a young age they knew what they wanted they strove every single day to get it and look where they are look where they are 20 years later 20 years later they're still doing it they're still doing it that's potential me in high school, I maximized my potential. You want to know why? Because I went ev- because of my habits. You know, I'm not even going to try to, my habits, right? My habits were the best in the country, without, without a doubt. Was I the best player in the country? No. Did I maximize my potential? Yes. So what do you, so, so that, brings me, that brings me to my next point, right? What are you using to measure yourself what are you using to measure yourself are you using other people's accomplishments or are you measuring yourself based on what you believe you can be what do you believe you can be what do you truly believe you can be get the limits off yourself get the limits off yourself stop limiting yourself you are a human being if you can walk if you can run if you can use your arms if you, can, if you have a brain that works, if you have all these things, why can't you be better than the the best the best uh, the best players at your age? Like, why can't you be why can't you be these things? Ask yourself, why do I not believe this? What is what is like? What do I want? If if and you've heard this before, if. I had everything I wanted, or if I had a genie in a bottle and I had unlimited wishes, what would I wish for? Why can't you have those things? Why can't you? And then now we got to go deep now. It's on you. It's on you. If these people can have it, why can't you have it? If you want to be a pro, why can't you be a pro? If you want to be a, if you want to play in the prem, why can't you play in the prem? Now, soccer and sports is one of those things where Time is a thing. Time does matter, right? Time does matter. In life in general, time doesn't matter so much. And and, and what I mean by that, obviously time matters, but what I mean by that is in the world of, you know, let's say business, in the world of schooling, whatever it is, I could be 30, start and still be, you know, in a good spot when I'm 40. Now, with soccer, that's very, very hard to do if possible right? Start when you're 30, right? I can't play. I can't start when I'm 30. But but if I was, you know, if I was 14, and I like, if you're listening to this, and you're 14, sit down and write out what you want. And let's go after it. Don't waste time. Do not waste time. Do not get to be my age 26. Do not get to be my age. And then start working, right? I was lucky enough. I achieved. I achieved everything I set out to achieve in the game of soccer. And now, guess what? Now I'm restarting in life, right? But I still have skills that I developed when I played soccer. I have my work ethic. I have my perspective. I have my understanding. Obviously, I have my skills in soccer and stuff like that, which I can use for, to help you guys on my, you know, one-on-one coaching calls and and team replay and all that stuff, and give you guys this kind of knowledge and stuff like that. But at the end of the day. What are you creating for yourself, right? What are you creating for yourself? What are you doing for yourself? If you are working your butt off every single day to win a trophy, what happens when you get that trophy? The team gets it or you get a medal and you hang it up on your mantelpiece. Good job. What do you, like, yes, you can show your kids that, but like, what are they going to do with that? What are they going to do with that? You know what they're going to, you know, like, like guys, I, I know I'm getting deep here. I know this is super deep. Uh, this, this is, 
a little bit off topic from soccer, but it's important that you guys understand this and you guys gain perspective on life in general. This is stuff that no one told me when I was growing up. And this is, this is sort of why I started this whole podcast because I wanted to, I wanted to be able to just rant at 11 o'clock and for you guys to, to, to hear something from a guy who has been naive about the game of soccer, has been naive about life, has come out of the game of soccer and had the knowledge of, of how to play soccer, of how to watch film and break it down and how to help young players and stuff like that. But he didn't have the knowledge that you need to, to survive in life in general. I'm catching up on reading books and stuff like that. Like for me and what I should have been doing, looking back what I should have been doing, and this is not based on anyone else. This is what I believe that I should have been doing is reading more, gaining a better perspective on life as a whole, not just looking narrow-mindedly, tunnel vision. What I needed to do was get gain a better perspective. Simple as that. Simple as that. But you got to understand for yourself, for yourself, you have to understand that the things you are doing every single day, they should help you. They should help you in the long run. Working on your Cruyff turn will not help your kids have better lives. Simple as that. Am I saying you should never work on your Cruyff turn? Absolutely not. But it should not be, it should not consume your day on how to do a better Cruyff turn or ball mastery in general. There are things that you can do in the game of soccer to make the game easier for yourself without even touching the ball. I know that for a fact, and my clients know that for a fact, that just by going on a Zoom call with me or by watching my YouTube channel or reading my ebook or by figuring it out yourself and watching film, you can gain a better perspective and a better understanding of the game and you will automatically improve. If you're able to, to watch it and analyze it and add it to your game, you will automatically improve. You don't even have to touch a ball. I take a guy who can analyze film, break it down and add it to his game and never, and never do an extra, extra session by himself. I would take him over a guy who does ball mastery every single day. I swear to you. And that's controversial. And I'm definitely going to post that as a highlight on my YouTube just to start some controversy. But it's true. It's true. And I'm going to and I'm going to prove it over the next four years. I'm going to prove it to you guys. I, I, I declared this. I declared this because, again, why limit myself? Why would I limit myself? Speaking with some friends of mine who I will be helping and working with in the near future you will see our banner at the 2026 World Cup. Here in the U.S., you will see us on the banner, okay? You'll see it, period, okay? What else, what else, what else? Um, guys, I simply, simply, simply hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing uh, 2021 so far. I know if you guys are in lockdown right now, I get it. It's tough. Um, you know, you're looking at it from from various various angles. I know you guys are working hard. I know you guys are trying to stay fit. I know you guys are trying to stay sharp mentally, trying to stay ready to go. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. I actually listened to an interview with Kobe. Rest in peace. Uh, I heard an interview with Kobe where Shaq was interviewing Kobe, and he asked him, where did you get this? this Mamba mentality, this, this competitiveness, where did you get it? And you want, you want to know what he said? He said, I got it from isolation. I got it from isolation. He said, when I was growing up in Italy and playing basketball, no, no one talked to me. No one, no one, you know, I didn't speak the language. So people, you know, it was tough for me to talk to people and people thought I was weird. I was the only black kid in my school, but out of that, you know what equalized all of us? You know what allowed me? You know what? You know what was? You know what was my world? You know what? Like I'm in. A, so th so think about this. I'm in a foreign country. I don't speak the language. I'm young. I'm the only black kid. 
So I'm in their territory, right? You know what, you know what allowed me, you know what allowed me to take over basketball, right? Basketball. I didn't need to speak their language. I didn't need to be white. I didn't need to, to be Italian. I didn't need any of that. I just, I, it, that was my moment to get my revenge. Every time we stepped on the basketball court, I got my revenge on them. So you're in isolation right now. You're in isolation right now. Think to yourself right now, who do I need to get back? Who do I need to get back at? And be ready for that. When you get back on the field, get back at them. Prove some people wrong. Prove yourself right. Get out there. Put in the work. Right now, you should be you should be watching video every single day, 10 to 20 minutes. Just writing down things that you should be adding to your game. Oh, I need to add this turn to my game. Oh, I need to add this, this exercise to my training. I need to be doing this. I need to... We're getting away. Okay, here's another thing. We're getting away from pointing the finger at ourselves. A lot of us, a lot of us. Two, thing, two things that make me really mad. Two things that really make me mad. Number one is the idea that it's always someone else's fault. It's always someone else's fault. It's, or it's uh, uh, someone's fault, something's fault outside of us, okay? This is very, very common. This is human nature. I do this as well. But I, I, I'm catching, I always catch myself. I always catch myself. I do it because that's human nature, but then I immediately catch myself. And here, here's what you do. Um, oh, we, we, we would have we won the game, but it was, you know, it was slick out. It was cold. So, or you get out to the field and you're like, oh, it's so cold. They're like, I, I'm not going to have a great session today. Or, oh, my teammates suck. Oh, my coach sucks. All this stuff. It's always someone outside of you. It's never your fault. And that's a problem. That's a problem. I started this whole company based on, uh, <laughs> I, I started this whole company, company based on self-assessment, self-analyzing. Because no one does it. No one does it. No one looks at themselves and says, that was my fault. I messed up there. I need to get better with this. The immediate reaction is, oh, it's not my fault. Or, oh, I didn't do that. Or what? me who no no it's your fault it's your fault um so you guys gotta you guys gotta get you guys gotta get super super locked in on it's it's my fault it's my fault we lost the game today it's my fault how can i get better how can i get better right how can i get better don't complicate it either. Do not complicate it. Simplify it. Simplify it. What could I have done better this game? What could I have done better? Second thing, you gotta you gotta analyze yourself. You when when I say you take accountability, take full accountability for yourself. Now what's now what's the solution? Now what's the solution? So that so that I know I keep saying like two, three, whatever. There's two types of people. Okay, there's two types of people. When a fire breaks out, if, a, if you're in your house right now and, and a fire breaks out, there's two types of people. One person looks at it and says, oh, there's a fire. We're all going to die. We're all going to die. The second person looks for the fire extinguisher. Which person are you? Which person are you? Are you the type that looks at your team and says, we suck. Here we go again. It's my goalkeeper's fault. Or are you the type of player that says, okay, I need to, I need to move, my movement needs to be a little bit better. I need to get on the ball. And then that way I can make better passes and we could score and win. It's, it, I, I swear, guys, it's never your fault. It's never your fault. And I'm here to tell you right now, it's always your fault. Because who else? Like, like think about this, guys. If it's my coach's fault, guess who has to change? <clears throat> If it's my coach's fault, guess who has to change? My coach. My coach has to change. Will my coach change? I don't know. You'll probably be holding your breath for a long time, and you'll never make it because your coach didn't change. So do you want to put your career in your coach's hands? Do you want to put the, your career in your goalkeeper's hands? Do you want to put your career in the hands of your mom or your dad? Which who, by the way, they don't care about your career. Your mom and your dad do not care about your career, honestly. 
What they care about is that you're safe, sound, secure, taken care of. And that's great. That's what we need parents for. We need parents to care about us, but they don't care about your career. If you don't, if you're not a pro soccer player, your mom's still going to love you. Your dad's still going to love you. So first it take full responsibility for your actions for, for a loss. If you lose and you play perfect, quote unquote, perfect. My, one of my coaches always said, there's no way you could play perfect and lose. There's no way. Now, could you have a 60% out of, you know, could you have a 70% game? Could you have a seven out of 10 game? Maybe. Yeah. But to say that I played, oh, I played so well today. No, you didn't. You lost. You lost. Um, so when your team loses, what could you do better? Stop looking at the people who made a mistake and look at yourself. Look at yourself. Always look at yourself. Ask yourself, what, what, what part did I play in this to lose? You want me to get real for a second? You want me to get real for a second? If your girlfriend breaks up with you, what did you do wrong? What did you do wrong? Take full responsibility of any situation. Stop looking at other people because if you look at other people, guess what? Your life is not in your control at that point. Your life is not in, you know, your life is not in control. You're not in control of your life at that point. Someone else is. Do you want other people to be in control of your life? Do you want that girl or that guy to be in control of your life? Do you want your mom and dad to be in control of your life? No, because guess what? They don't have the same dreams and ambitions you do. You have to have control of your life. That brings me all the way back to goals. That brings me all the way back to soccer as a whole. If you focus on soccer and soccer <clears throat> and soccer is your life, guess what? You have a bad game, you have a bad day. You have a good game, you have a good day. You get hurt, life is over. You score the winning goal, life is perfect. Do you want to live like that, guys? Do you want to live up? down up one day down the next up one day down the next constant up and down up and down up and down no i don't i don't that's not that's not where i that's not, that's not where i i live i live right in the middle all day every day and, and i'm happy and that's that's a ha that's a joy that's a joyful happy state constant constant learning constant analyzing constant understanding constant uh talking with you guys listening to you guys helping you guys always 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 learning learning new things you know reading books taking notes journaling all that stuff constant constant improvement i got a lot of improving to do guys i got a lot of improving to do um but you guys i mean you don't want to be on a roller coaster all the time so what do you need to do what do you need to do then you need to get, get life under control. It's your fault. Everything that's happened to you up to this point is a decision that you made and it's your fault. But that's, you know, that's the good news. The good news is it's your, it's all your fault, right? <laughs> the good news is it's all your fault. So guess, guess who has the opportunity? Guess who has the responsibility and the capability to change it? You do, right? You have the capability to change it. And that's, that's a great, that's a, that's a huge blessing. Okay. That's a huge, uh, that's a huge plus on your side. So guess what you need to do? You just need to change your decisions. You just need to change your actions. You just need to change your habits and your life will change. You want, you want to be the starting right back. Guess what? All you have to do is do what the starting right back does and you will become, you guessed it, the starting right back. Guys, I mean, today was just a little rant. 1130 at night here in Jacksonville, Florida. I just went on a little rant. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing uh, week. Uh, February's, I mean, guys, we've already gone a month. We've already, we've already gone a month this year. Did you accomplish what you, what you, what you wanted to accomplish this month? Did you do the things you wanted to do? Did you keep the habits you said you were going to keep? What habits do you want to have in February, right? What's the one habit you want to change? What's the one habit you want to add? What's the one habit you want to get rid of in February? 
Um, you guys have been asking me about like what books I what books I recommend and what books I read and all this stuff. And I, I definitely want first and foremost, you got to go check Atomic Habits by James Clear. You have to simple as that. You have to. So go get that book. If you want the link to the Amazon, uh, if you want the Amazon link, check the description or the show notes and uh, it'll be there. I want you guys to win, guys. I want you guys to win. That's why I do these things. I do these things so that you'll win. I'm not getting paid to do this podcast. I don't get paid to do my YouTube videos. I don't get paid to do IG live. I don't get paid. I want to, I just want to see you guys win. I just want to see you guys win. If you guys are new to the podcast, thank you guys. And I appreciate you guys, you know, listening. I appreciate you guys engagement right now. Make sure you go comment. Go comment what you thought of the podcast. One thing you'll take away from this and add to your week. Also, ask, tell me who you want to be on the next podcast. Sorry. Tell me who you want to be on the next podcast and let's talk about it. Um, guys, I, I, can't, I can't stress enough how much I appreciate you guys. You know, some of you guys remember me when I had 300 followers, right? And I'm almost at 3,000, so... Guys, it's been a ride, man. It's been a ride. And let me talk about that for a second, guys. It's literally been like it's a journey. And we're not, and we just we just started. I've just started. I'm I'm basically three months into this because I didn't start taking it seriously until, you know, about October of last year, where I was posting every single day. But now I'm now I'm in it and you guys you guys have been amazing. You guys have helped me. I've learned so much from you guys, and I know you guys have learned a lot from me. And it's just been a constant conversation, guys. I put something out. You guys talk to me. I talk to you. Constant conversation. And look where it's look where we are. Look where we are. I have, you know, big soccer pages hitting me up saying they like my stuff and that they, you know, want to work together in the future and stuff like that. And it's just, it's just an absolute, it's crazy because at the time I was like, I, I think I'm, I, I think this is, so, this is, this might be not, this might be dumb. This might be dumb what I'm doing. I don't know if I could do all this and be committed and all that stuff. Some of you guys remember me in March of last year, IG live every single day, every single day. And that's how I made it. That's how I made it guys. And now I'm starting to hit a stride. I'm starting to get some engagement. I'm starting to get some, uh, you know, better, um, you know, just better outreach, better engagement. You guys have been unbelievable, man. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. And 2021 is going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. It's already been crazy. January is coming to a close, you know, one more day in January and then February 1st, man. Crazy, 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 guys. I'm about to go to bed. I appreciate you guys um, tuning into the podcast as always. Thank you so much. Make sure if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribed. Make sure you send this to one person. And uh, and, that, and and honestly, guys, that's that's what that's all I ask. I ask you to help me out. You know, very simply, just 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 send this to one person. If you found any value whatsoever, send it to one person. Tell them uh, I appreciate you. So here's uh, Merry Christmas in January. Guys, I appreciate it. I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. I appreciate, appreciate, appreciate you guys. I can't wait to, to see you this week, um, whether it's on the IG Lives, whether it's in Team Replay, whether it's in the webinars, whatever it is, guys. I can't wait to see you guys and interact. Um, this is going to be an amazing week. It's going to be a great week. Uh, this is going to be an amazing month. Guys, I mean, last thing I'm going to say, okay? <laughs> last thing I'm going to say. I, I challenge you guys. I challenge you guys, honestly. I challenge you to make to to say to yourself what is what is one habit that i need to i need to improve on what is one habit that i want to really nail down and just commit to that for the one month commit to that for one month and trust me i've seen it and i did it last year i've seen it if you put one month of hard work in hard work your life will look so different on the other side of that month. It will look so different. You'll be a completely different person. It's crazy, but no one's willing to put in a month of work. If you're, put, if you're willing to put in a month of work, if you're willing to put in a month of work, um, we'll do, I mean, I'll do something. I'll do something. If you're willing to put in a month of work, 
um, we'll, we'll see what, we'll see what, we'll see what, but um, I want to do something for you guys. If you guys have a, have a habit that you think that you need to improve on and you're willing to do it for one month, comment below. If you're on YouTube, comment below and, uh, and tell me what that habit is. Tell me what that habit is. And uh, we'll do we'll do something together, guys. We'll do we'll, I'll do something for you guys um, at the end of this month, at the end of February. We'll celebrate everyone who who kept that habit and and see where you guys are at. Right? Let's do a little time capsule. Leave a cap or leave a um, leave a comment. Tell me what habit you want to improve, and and I'll check in with you next month or at the end of this month. Okay? I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much. Uh, if you guys are new again, make sure. Um, you read the, you read the description. There's some good stuff in there for you. Free ebook. Join my, my free VIP, um, group chat where I'm constantly, constantly engaging with you guys. Um, if you guys are interested in one of my coaching calls, the link is also in the description. So go check that out guys. I appreciate you. And I'll see you guys on IG lives. I'll see you on webinar. I'll see you on the next podcast. Thank you guys so much for checking this out and come in on YouTube channel or on Spotify or Apple Music, whichever you choose to consume this. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.